Have you seen some of these wildly impressive app UI designs generated and built by AI? If you have, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you yourself can make these types of designs and apps using no-code tools such as Flutterflow as well as AI tools such as ChatGPT and Midjourney. It's super simple, anyone can do it and you can have an app built in probably two hours. This is definitely going to happen in the future so why not be early on it and start with it now. So in this video I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish using AI to build an app. Let's go. All right, so here we are. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Midjourney. What Midjourney is, it's an like image kind of creation framework that's built on stable diffusion where you can provide an input and then it will give you an output in terms of an image and then you can ask it to stylize it, etc. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to midjourney.com and you're going to press join the beta. This is actually a Discord app where you have to be in a Discord space and able to, in order to be able to use this app which is pretty neat, can be a little bit confusing as you'll see why, because you can kind of get lost a little bit. Um, but you're going to log into this, uh, this place on Discord. If you don't have a Discord account, then please create one. And you're going to come over to this mid journey space. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, one of the rooms. So as you can see, there are plenty of rooms for here, but we can go to a newbie room, for example, and we can type in and begin with imagine and then prompt and prompt will mean Here's something you can input, so you can just ask it something like, hey, create a UI design for an app like this, for example. And then you can give it some parameters in addition to that, which we'll be going over in a little bit. But for example, prompt, create a UI design for an app for wedding invitation. And we'll press enter. And then we will begin to process this and as you can see this is what I mean that it can kind of get lost relatively quickly and then once it's done you'll get an output that looks something like this so pretty nice UI design to begin with without really giving it any prompts this is now for a wedding planning app I'm thinking we're gonna do something a little bit more fun so for example say that we wanted to do this but we wanted to change it up a little bit then we can go imagine again and we'll give it a new prompt for example we'll give it a UI design for a modern wedding invitation app. Then we can give it some uh, parameters. So for example, we can do dash dash and we can do V4, which is essentially the new, uh, I think the newer version of it. Then we'll take, then there's also a stylized component where you can ask it to be varying degrees of uh, creative. So the way to use that is again do dash dash and then do stylize 600 for example. And then it will give you a creativity level that's 600, I think it's out of a thousand, I'm not really sure about that though, but you can experiment around with it. And then you can also pass it up beta, which is also I believe a newer version of it or like a beta version where it's kind of looking a little bit uh, better. But for example, say we wanted to have some more keywords, we can do UI slash UX, we can do sleek, we can do modern, and we can do phone. And say if we want to have some particular colors, like maybe we want to have some blue in there, maybe we want to have some pink in there, maybe some teal to begin with. Let's have a look. Okay, so here we have a couple of ones. For example, the one to the top left looks pretty nice. I think we're gonna maybe go with that one. So if you if you like one of them, for example, if I press U1, I'll get an upscaled version, so a little bit higher definition that I can then uh, use. And then we're waiting for it to start. Again, I'll spare you the waiting time. Perfect. And then we have the upscaled version there. So we can press open in browser, and we'll just hang on to this design over here. And as you can see, AI isn't super good with text yet. So for example, the call to action buttons are uh, gibberish. What we can then do is go to ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a model built by OpenAI. It's basically a language model um, where you can ask it to do certain certain uh, queries, for example. Now then, we're gonna do make um, a broad outline of uh, ideas, and then it will come up with some uh, basic call to actions, for example, some basic features that you can have in it, but pretty stuff that's pretty good for you know getting the general idea of the outline of the app that you want to build so we're gonna leave this here to generate as you can see it's pretty quick but we're gonna then head over to google again and we're gonna search for flutter flow what flutter flow is is essentially 
a non-code platform where you can create uh, Flutter apps. If you know Flutter, that's the main coding language that I know. But this is a no-coding version or a no-coding tool for that, where you can build Flutter apps without having to write any of the code yourself. And you can actually do some boiler templates uh, in order to create a pretty nice, uh, nice looking app. And then we're taking the, this little loading page. So now we can see we have some of this content idea, some basic features, and we have the call to action for the app. Again, we can ask ChatGPT for more stuff later. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press create new and we're gonna call this wedding, wedding app. Simple and easy. And as we can see, they have a couple of different templates. They actually ha happen to have a wedding one. That's pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna use this and then we're gonna change it a little bit uh, later on. So let's use the sample. And we select that sample and then it will begin to uh, create it. Then in order to have uh, online storage on the app, we're gonna need uh, to add Firebase to it. So we can either watch the YouTube video, which is quite simple, or we can just read the documentation on how to connect it. So let me do that relatively quickly. We're gonna take the project ID for this particular wedding app, and we're gonna head back over to Flutterflow, and we're gonna press connect. So that was quite a simple setup. I just followed all the instructions. And we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna press auto generate configuration files. We're gonna generate the files. This is basically like what you need for authentication, like the Google files, etc. Yeah, I think it's like a bunch of JSON files. Then we're gonna head over to next step. And we're gonna deploy the Firestore indexes. This is basically in case you wanna do filtering, you need to have Firestore indexes, for example. If you want to be able to filter on uh, price, large to small, for example, you need to index the things because that's just how the Firebase database uh, works. And then after that's done, we're going to go over to start, start building. And here we have this no code tool that's pretty neat, where you can see a bunch of different things for uh, this particular app. So what we can then do is we can go ahead and edit this. For example, we can begin by removing all of these uh, things. So we're going to remove all of it and we're gonna start from scratch and again you can you can build a lot of pages I'm just gonna show you one because I guess this is what's gonna be the, the main thing but so here we have the home page and we can then come over to uh, this part where we can actually build stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a container and we're gonna make it as wide as the screen and as large as the screen so this is not really gonna be a scrolling part of the app it's just gonna be it's just gonna be the background so if we then come over to the background, we can, first of all, we can change the, the fill color. For example, we can change it to this pink, like that. Maybe that's a little bit harsh, so we're gonna make it a little bit lighter. Perfect, still keeping in mind that this kind of is our, these two kind of are our inspiration. Let's make it even a little bit lighter. Use color, okay, perfect. And then we can use all of these different things that we have here in order to uh, create this uh, app that we have. So for example in this container we can then press a column and say that we want the column to go from top to the bottom and we're going to start off with an image at the top maybe and we're going to make it as wide and approximately that large and this is where we're going to have this little little rose kind of thing. We can go back here and we can go imagine prompt and we can select uh, pink, teal, and red roses, picking stylize, 900. And then we're going to generate another one that we can put at the back of this app here, of this wedding planner app. Now we just have the sample image, but while this is generating in the background, we can go back and we can edit some stuff. So maybe at the next point here, you want some text. Uh, say now the text is uh, normal, we want it to be bold and we want to increase the size a little bit so that it looks like a title hello world and we'll say welcome then we're gonna go back to this part and we're gonna select one of these for example we're gonna I think I like the top left one again so we're gonna go U1 in order to render that one in more detail seems like our design is done so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna press uh, save image as we're gonna download it and we're gonna upload this image as well like so, I will go back to the build part and we'll go to the image now. And from the path, we can actually select the image type and we're gonna take asset, which we can pick from the ones we've uploaded. So we're gonna pick that one. And we need to make it a little bit bigger so that it looks a little bit 
more realistic. Perfect. In retrospect, I'll probably be making this video again, but with Flutter Call, because using Flutter Flow was, although it was quite easy and simple to use, I struggled a little bit to explain at the same time. So all this is is just a speed call of me working on the app a little bit, adding some gradients, making it look a little bit better, etc. According to the kind of theme that we uh, generated with the UI design previously. But again, you can probably do this better if you learn Flutter Flow a little bit, and I'm not really doing the tool justice, but that's why I sped up this footage of me building the app. That probably took me 10 minutes to build this page from scratch. And I just used some of the, a little bit of the inspiration, like we kind of had the inspiration that it's pink up here, a little bit of a gradient until we get the blue, those same colors. Again, I, I did this relatively quickly, so it doesn't look super nice as of now. Also, personally, I think that it's easier to use Flutter the cold, but that will take a little bit longer to set up. And this is kind of like a, how you as a non-colder can use AI in order to build your app. And we can then use this. So for example, we added a couple of functions, like we have guest list management. For example, if we go back to this, we can then press guest list, for example. We can then have these different ones, and then you can add functions so that, for example, once this is edited, uh, for example, on long press, you can edit it and you can then do an API call or you can do so that you update the name in Firebase or list in Firebase, for example. But let's go back to the page that we built. So the home page, which is this, has who's coming. And this is kind of like the home page you get as an organizer of the wedding. We have this nice art generated by AI that I use Canva in order to remove the background. And for example, if you press this, you navigate to guest list, which is the one I just showed. You can also see post. If you press this, we navigate to post details, which is this, for example, a particular post or all the list of all the posts you can uh, pick whichever one and then catering we can go to the wedding party details or chat for example we can go to the messages which is this so for example in go Kante, the footballer has got uh, got these chats in in this example that's a relatively quick, quick example of how you can use uh, ai in order to do some pretty cool stuff with first of all mid journey which is probably the most useful then of course chat gpt and then use flutter flow in order to build this uh, quick layout of course you can go into a lot more detail than what i've done here I probably spent in total of one hour doing this, which is pretty insane. Like you can generate all of these examples, you can record and talk over it, and you can also come up with an app that's like almost usable. I just need to fix some of the bugs, which is relatively quick, just to do with Firestore, and then I can run the app itself. Also, personally, if I were to do this, I'd do this in Flutter Call because I think it's more customizable. And I think it's easier to use than this tool. But if you haven't called it before at all, you want to build an app, this is a simple way to do it. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this type of content, then please let me know down below so I can make more of it. If you want to follow my other stuff, like my starting a startup series where I build apps from scratch and kind of release it to the market, then feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.